the researchers stress that addressing Zoom fatigue should not be completely left up to employees, especially women and people of color. Workplaces should find ways to help, whether by adopting video-free days or conducting phone meetings when using video is not necessary. Our findings should inspire companies to rethink their video conference policies and culture, Fovel says. They could do so, for example, by prohibiting the use of video in some online meetings or by reducing the number or duration of these meetings and making sure to avoid back-to-back video conference calls. Hancock echoes Fovel's advice. The problem with just working with users is it puts the responsibility on them by saying, here's this problem that society has, and now you fix it, Hancock says. That's unfair. Employers need to recognize the need for change and make it happen. We need institutions to step up and implement some policies, Hancock says. Managers should be thinking a little bit more about do we need video for this meeting? If not, mandatory video off for everyone.